here again you have the second problem. Same procedure for the order in the last problem we have got up. First find out the overall dimension 25 plus 25 and plus 50. Then the height overall height 40. Then the overall length 20. Draw the first block. It is for the front view. 40, 20. Height is 40. Breadth is 20. Project this 20 down. Give at least 30 mm gap. Place the other view. It is 50 mm length. We get the top view. With the help of uh, this projection lines from the front view, the same 40 can be available in the side view. Use 45 degree line. Bring the top view length to the side view. You get the block side view length. Overall block is obtained. Now add the details. Here the detail. Maximum detail is available in the side view. Then go to the side view. Take this 5 mm distance. Then divide this 50 into two equal parts. It is 25, 25. Add the height 5. Bring it up to 25. Join it with the end 5. We are getting on detail. This detail can very well be represented in the top view. Drag this, bring its five lines, then bring this line also. Now look at the top view. This five mm width L shape is visible. So place that L shape here on the top view. Go till you reach 40 mm, stop it here. Total is 50, this detail should go up to 40. Now this line is dragged and you can finish this. So now the top view is complete in all respects. We are getting three details. One is this L shape. Then another inverted L shape, then you have the rectangle. Again you bring this detail back to the side view. You find the, the detail in the side view. So you can erase this part. So now the side view is complete in all aspects. Now you project this side view detail to the front view, corresponding top view detail to the front view. Here you are getting a separate rectangle. A separate rectangle is a prime. Then there is one bottom rectangle. Again the remainder is also a rectangle. This is how we can finish. Now look at the objects, see here, here you have a smaller rectangle, you see from the front, so the smaller rectangle is available. Then you need to have a lean rectangle, but which is slightly far away from the front side, you drag this, bring it to the front end, join it, so you will be getting one rectangle on the front side. 
here again this lengthy rectangle, inclined rectangle can also be dragged to the front end and you will be getting this. So you are able to get uh, three rectangles, one rectangle horizontal, another one vertical, then the remainder rectangle. In the top view you have this L shape, then you have to have the top view of this particular object. So what you do is just bring it to the top, you will be getting this smaller rectangle. The smaller rectangle is the projection for this lengthy rectangle from the top view. So the remaining shape is available here. The concept is when the object is truncated, you get the detail in the respective places. But when it is completely filled, let's say you can straight away from read the top view detail from the top itself. This is one detail, this is another detail, this is another detail. Front view details can be read from the front itself. This end, this end, again you have this end. Side view detail can be read in the front plane itself. You can just bring this side view end and you can even join it. So you are getting this one detail and afterwards you are getting this detail. Likewise, uh, the truncated object should be filled and uh, you put the plane at the top, you will get top view. Put one plane at the front, you will get front view. Then put another plane at the side, you will get the side view. Now you add the dimensions carefully. Add the dimensions. So the first dimension here, the length can be divided as Here it is 5. Here you have two divisions. This can be marked as 25, 25. This can be marked as 25, 25. The height can be marked as 5. The remainder is 35. So 5 plus 35 is 40. And the breadth can be marked as this particular distance this is 5 so this can very well be marked here this is 5 then the remaining is 50 because the total is 20 already it is placed here so you need not specify this it is understood the remainder is 15 15 plus 5 is 20.